The Validine CD15 carrier demodulator is one of our most popular products and is used in conjunction with many of our variable reluctance pressure transducers. When troubleshooting a pressure measurement system, it is helpful to know if the CD15 is functioning normally. This short instructional video will show you how to test your CD15 to verify that it can be used to calibrate a variable reluctance pressure transducer. Here is a typical pressure measurement system incorporating a Validine DP15 variable reluctance pressure sensor, a cable, and a CD15 carrier demodulator. The pressure applied to the sensor is converted to a plus and minus 10 volt analog output at the CD15 binding posts. In order to check the CD15, we first remove the DP15 cable that is connected to the rear panel of the CD15. As you can see, we've connected a simple multimeter to the CD15 output binding posts to be able to read the analog output. The black lead connects to the black binding post and the red multimeter lead connects to the red binding post. If the CD15 has been calibrated with the sensor, write down the dial readings on the zero and span adjustments so that these can be reset later. Now we turn the zero adjustment such that the number five appears in the dial window. Next, turn the span adjustment until the number 10 appears in its dial window. The multimeter should be set to read up to plus and minus 20 volts DC. Power the CD15 by turning the power switch to on. A green LED should indicate that the unit is powered. Read the voltage signal as displayed by the multimeter. It should be near zero volts DC. Verify that the output can be set exactly to zero volts DC by turning the zero adjustment. Now verify that the output signal can be varied to at least plus and minus four volts DC by turning the zero adjustment as far as it will go in each direction. You may see more than a 4 volt DC swing in each direction, but this is normal. Tap the zero and span adjustment knobs to see if the signal jumps. This could indicate a worn potentiometer. If the CD15 can be set to zero volts DC and adjusted to at least plus or minus four volts DC by turning the zero adjustment, then the unit is acting normally. The CD15 can also be tested for drift or noise by recording the output of the CD15 over time using a data logger. The CD15 carrier demodulator is very reliable and will perform satisfactorily for many years. We hope this simple test will be useful in confirming that your CD15 is working correctly. 
Instruction manuals, data sheets, and additional information about the CD15 can be found on our websites. You can also call technical support at 818-886-2057. Thanks for watching.